Let's balance the equation PBR2 plus HCl. This is lead to bromide and hydrochloric acid. So we'll also look at the type of reaction here. Let's start with the type of reaction for PBBR2 plus HCl. We can see that the lead, that lead there, and the hydrogen, they're switching places. The lead starts out with bromine, it ends with chlorine. The hydrogen starts out with chlorine, and it ends with bromine. So this is a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. Let's balance the equation. We have one lead, two bromines, one hydrogen, and one chlorine atom. On the product side, we have lead. We have one of those, one bromine, one hydrogen, and then the two chlorine atoms. It looks like if we started with the bromine, we could put a two in front of the HBr. So one times two, that would balance the bromines, and then one times two. Now we have two hydrogens. That's okay though, because we have two chlorines and two hydrogens. We just need to double them. Put a coefficient of two in front of the HCl, one times two, gives us two of those, one times two, that gives us two chlorines, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you wanted to write the states, Lead bromide, if you look that up on a solubility table, it's only slightly soluble. So just a little bit of it dissolves. We're going to call this a solid. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. That's going to be aqueous. Hydrobromic acid, also considered a strong acid, that's going to be aqueous. And then for PBCl2, this is another one that's slightly soluble. Some of it will dissolve, but most of it's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube. So let's just call this a solid here. So those are our states, and this is the balanced equation for PBBr2 plus HCl. The type of reaction, double displacement. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.